And uh, let me start out first by uh, thanking everybody for their time today. Um, and of course, my uh, brothers and sisters in all the unions that are here, um, uh, hopeful that this wage freeze will finally get lifted, this burden that's been on their back for so long and has caused uh, quite a bit of harm to the, uh, many families here in Nassau County. So I would like to uh, first um, thank my, uh, my fellow union leaders here and all the union members here and everybody that came down to group. off my notes. I just want to remind everybody here that I think it's important because sometimes we get lost in the moment. We have to remember here that all our unions signed agreements, and I'm going to speak about the CSCA, in 2008. And in 2008, we voluntarily negotiated a 0% raise. And then we got a raise in 2009 and 2010 together, which equals a 7.30% raise. And that is what we've had since 2007 until 2014, a 7.3% raise. While that's been going on, we've had families and members stuck at 21, 23, $25,000 a year. We've had many horror stories that you've already heard, and I know you're sympathetic to both sides, and I thank you for that. And I think that's one of the reasons why we're here at the podium. But what the public needs to understand is what's dangerous about a lot of this and gets lost in a moment is we actually are in a contract. And although a vast majority of our members in CSCA voted to modify that contract, they did not do it because they thought it was a good deal. They did not do it because they thought they were making out. They did it because of survival. They did it because our contract was taken away. And that's a dangerous precedent for everybody here to remember. This is a dangerous thing to do. Don't be fooled by those that say you're paid by taxpayer dollars, therefore, we can freeze your contract, but your contract doesn't count. Remember the $700 billion bailout we gave to the banks not that long ago? That was paid for by taxpayer dollars. And what would happen if five years from now that same bailout was needed, but this time the federal government said, we don't have a trillion dollars. Instead, we'll allow for five years the banks to add two points to everyone's mortgage because we need the banks to stay healthy for the betterment of our country and for the national security. There's not a difference between that and what's going on in this county for the last three years. No difference. People would say that's insane, it's absurd. That's what we said three years ago when they said they were going to take our contract away. But I want to thank you because you now have a greater picture and you're able to really understand the suffering and the pain. And the fact that I just said to you, a 7% raise in seven years, it comes to 1.04% for the CSBA. And I actually think it's pretty similar for the police unions. So I'm going to end because it's late. I'm going to say thank you so much. And I urge you all to vote yes in the affirmative for all the unions here in Nassau County that have worked so hard to try to get out of this wage freeze. And let's work together as a team for a bigger, better, brighter Nassau County together. Thank you.